is the RTIOS progress update as of the 21st of July 2018. Sorry we were a little bit behind, I was a little bit sick and uh, couldn't speak uh, for a few days. So I'm um, about fully recovered now and uh, back on it and we'll catch up very quickly. So we've had now 60 riding days up past the 7,000 kilometre mark and still uh, at this stage we were continuing the lovely weather without rain, clear blue skies, all perfect. Uh, we've passed through the centre of the Pilbara region and we're continuing uh, west uh, towards the western coast. Uh, wind conditions we're experiencing are mainly crosswinds, but the, yeah, the weather remains great and it's um, yeah, uh, very nice riding conditions. Those last five days, um, yes, riding day 56, um, fairly short, 88, but quite a draining day. And I've got a slide on that to explain. Uh, we had a, a, a little bit of drama on that day. Uh, the other days were smooth, um, mainly crosswinds. Um, so yes, we, we tried to cover as, as much as we could. We did have another short day there. We had a side trip up to um, uh, Point Sampson. Uh, so we had a, a short day to Karatha uh, to have, be able to do that and unfortunately, well, fortunately the, there were strong winds on that day and it was only a short day, so uh, slow average on that day, um, but yeah, no major problem being so short. Um, yep, not too much else, many crosswinds, um, yeah, we tried to get off early to do as much as we could as early as possible while the winds were more neutral. And up next, yeah, we're heading towards the west coast. We will reach the, uh, the west coast and very much looking forward to the, the Ningaloo Reef, which is the, the less visited uh, reef system um, where you can actually, you, that reef system is actually from the beach. So you can just go straight in from the beach and snorkel. Um, yeah, so very nice and looking forward to that. So riding day 56, quite a fiasco. Um, both of us carry two spare tubes. Um, so we should be fine if one person has, we could have two each, uh, punctures or one person can use more. However, uh, Ron had a puncture early on and two of the spares that we had would not blow up at all. Uh, he then had another puncture and we didn't have a replacement tube. Uh, so we had a problem. It was a short day, less than 90, so we'd sent Leah and Albie on ahead. Uh, so we didn't have a support crew, there was no mobile reception, so we couldn't call anybody. Um, so what we needed to do is for about 70 kilometres, uh, Ron had to pump up the tyre using this small manual pump that I've put at the bottom of the, of the uh, picture here. Uh, each time it went flat, so we'd basically be riding along, we'd monitor how puddeny, how flat the tyre is looking. And then as it's getting too uncomfortable to ride, uh, we'd have to stop and pump it up again. So we believe we stopped 12 or 15 times in that 70 kilometres. And yeah, quite uh, mentally and physically exhausting. Um, but we made it. And yes, uh, yeah, fine after that. But yeah, we were both in bed early uh, 